Hello guys! Sa video natin ngayon ay pag-aaralan natin yung MTOP, pre MTOP questions for grade 7. So nag-prepare ako rito ng 5 questions na I hope we can, I can explain it step by step. So let's have the 5 questions. Browse lang muna natin. So ito yung first 2 questions. Third question. Fourth. And fifth. So, bakit ba natin kailangan pag-aralan to? Um, this coming January, ay mag magaganap na yung elimination round for the MMC 2020. So, I hope na itong video na to ay makakatulong sa inyo to review and to prepare for the elimination round. So, let's get started. So, we have here number 1. What is this number midway between 3 plus 1 over 3 and 2 minus 1 over 3? So, ang kinukuha na, ang tanong dito, ano daw yung number na nasa gitna ng 3 plus 1 third, tapos 2 and 2 minus 1 third. So, again, pinapahanap po sa atin ay midway. So, paano ba kinukuha ang midway? Since itong dalawang ito, yung given na numbers, they will be considered as the end point. So, paano mahanap natin yung midway, kailangan lang natin i-add yung dalawang endpoints natin. Ito, saka ito. And then, it, we will divide it by 2. So, paano ba ginagawa yun? So, you will have 3 plus 1 over 3 plus 2 minus 1 over 3. And then, divide it by, then divide it by 2. Yan yung way kung paano i-add yung, kung paano kunin yung midway. Ang gagawin nyo lang is you need to add the two endpoints and then divide it by 2. So, mukhang mahirap yung ating problem. Pero hindi yan may ganun kahirap. As you can see, meron tayo ritong dalawang one third. Ito yung isa, ito yung pangalawa. At magkaiba sila ng sign. So, ang mangyayari po dyan, ma-eliminate na sila or magiging zero na yan. So, magiging fraction na lang natin ay... 3 plus 2 over 2. Ganun ang kadali. At ang ibig sabihin nun, yung midway na between 3 plus 1 third at 2 and 1 third ay simpleng 5 over 2 lang. This is the answer for item number 1. O diba, mukha lang siya mahirap, pero madali lang siya. Ang kailangan nyo lang is you need to analyze the given problem kasi ang nagiging problema rito ay binivisualize agad ng bata or nahihirapan ng bata ma-visualize yung problem na kung saan ang tingin niya ay madali lang ah, na kung saan ang tingin niya ay mahirap pero madali lang lamang naman pala so let's continue with item number 2 the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a polygon is 1,980 so interior angles ang tanong dito how many sides sides ang hinihingi has the polygon so, the formula here na gagamitin natin is that we have S sub N I know, sorry S, I'm sorry S is equal to 180 times N minus 2 In a given problem Ang sum ng ating interior angles ay 1,980. So, given na yan. Ang hanap natin yan ay yung value ng n, which is yung sides. So, substitute natin yan dito. We will have 1,980 degrees is equal to 180 degrees n. Minus 300 6 degrees. Pero, pwede natin siya i-solve ng ganito lang. Ganito, ganito lang kasimple. Walain ko lang to ha. Palit lang natin to dito. Yung ating S is equal to 1,980. So, you have 1,980 is equal to 180 degrees times n minus 2. Nung pinalit natin dito yung sum ng interior angles, kung mapansin nyo, we can divide both sides of the equation by 180 degrees. 
So, kapag dinivide natin yung 1,980 degrees by 180 degrees, the answer is just 11. So, ito mga cancel na to. So, we will have N minus 2. And then, to get the value of N, transpose natin sa kabila, it will give you N is equal to 11 minus plus 2. So, the value of N is equal to 13. So, ibig sabihin niyan, yung 13 sides na polygon or 13 sides to polygon ay merong interior angles na 1,980. So, I hope na naintindihan niyo yung solution natin for number 2. Now, let's proceed with item number 3. Ito na. Item number 3. For item number 3, yan. Ang even natin problem ay simplify the quantity of 7 over 2 plus 5 all over 6 raised to 2 minus the quantity of 7 all over 2 minus 5 all over 6 raised to 2. So, pinapasimplify. Um, wala naman siya mahirap. Pero hindi naman yan. We have this kind of identity. I-apply lang natin yan. Wherein, we have the quantity of A plus B squared minus the quantity of A minus B squared is only equal to 4AB. Kung kapansin yung magkakapattern yan. This is your A. This is your B. This is your A. This is your B. Uh, pare sa pare yung pattern. So, ang gagawin natin, simple lang. You need to get 4 times your A, which is 7 over 2. And then, your B, we have here 4, ah. ito yung 4 natin. Yung A natin, okay na tayo, which is 7 over 2, times the value of B, that is 5 over 6. You can simply, mul simply multiply it. So, pag minultiply natin yan, mag lowest term pa tayo. So, pwede nyo gawin. You can eliminate this one. You have 4 times 35 over 12. So, ito yung mga cancel out. Ito magiging 3. So, the answer here is simply 35 over 3. Ito yung sagot sa item number 3. So, di ba? Mukha lang siya may hirap. Ito ay equal kay 35 over 3. Okay? So, sana nakuha nyo yung number 3. Gamit lang itong identity na to. The quantity of A plus B squared minus A minus B squared is equal to 4AB. So, nakapangapata tayo. For item number 4, sabi dito, if the perimeter of a square is 8, x plus 6 yan, given natin what is the area? area ang pinapahanap ngayon, given natin perimeter, meaning, involved dito yung, peri yung area for the perimeter of square, which is p b equal to 4s and then meron tayong value ng perimeter, which is p is equal to 8x plus 6, so kunin natin Substitute natin dito yung value ng P. So, we have 8x plus 6 B equal to 4S. So, para makuha natin yung value ng area, ang gagawin lang natin is we need to find S. Kailangan makuha natin yung value ng S. Divide natin by 4. Then by 4. Cancel out, cancel out. Your S is equal to 8x plus 6 all over 4. Na kung saan, you can factor out 8x plus 6, right? So we have s is equal to mm, 2 times 4x plus 3 all over 4. So mawala to, ito magiging 2. So the measurement or the length of the side of the square is simply s is equal to 4x plus 3 over 2. So hindi ba tayo tapos? Yung side lang yan ang pinapahanap sa atin ay yung area. Paano daw yung value ng area natin? Remember, the formula for the area of square is simply A is equal to S squared. Yan. I-plug in natin dito yung value ng S. We have A is equal to 4X plus 3 all over 2 squared. 
Try natin. So, area is equal to Kunin natin ito. 6, uh, sorry. 16 x squared plus 2 times 4x times 3 plus 3 squared all over 2 squared. So the answer is simply 16 x squared plus 24x plus 9 all over 2. So, tingin ko, wala lang tayong pwede simplify. Tama ba yung ating pagkakamultiply? 16x squared, and then 4 times 2, 8 times 3, 24x, and then 9. This is the area of the square. So, let's go with item number 5. So, item number 5, equation of the line. Write an equation of the line through negative 2, 3, and 1, 4. So, given two points, pwede natin gamitin yung 2-point form. So, the 2-point form is y minus y sub 1 be equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 times x sub x minus x sub 1. Yeah. Medyo mahaba-haba ito. This is your x sub 1 y sub 1, x sub 2, and y sub 2. So, may mga label tayo para hindi tayo mahirapan. Tayo natin. The value of y sub 1 is y minus 3. 3 yung value ng ating y. B equal to ang ating y squared ay 4. Y, y sub 2 is 4. Minus y sub 1 which is negative 2 over your x sub 2, 1, minus, oops, may mali yata ako. Ang y sub 1 pa lang natin ay 3. Yan. Tama. So, 4 minus 3. Then, for the x sub 2, which is 1, minus your x sub, this is 1 x sub 1. Yan. Your x sub 1 is negative 2. So, times negative 2. And then, this one times x minus your x sub 1, which is negative 2. Yan. y minus 3 is equal to 1 over 3 times x plus 2. Gawin natin. Multiply natin to by 3. Ito yung magiging 3 times y minus 3 is equal to cancel out, cancel out, x plus 2. Distribute natin ito magiging 3y. Distribute natin ito magiging negative 9. It's equal to x plus 2. So, may dalawang possible answer. You can express your final answer in standard form. Yung isa naman ay pwede in general form. So, we can do first the standard form. So, ito yung magiging x minus 3y minus 2 minus 9. Nalipat sa kabila, ito naman dito. Magbago ang kanilang sign. So, we have x minus 3y is equal to negative 11. This is the standard form. So, depende yan sa given direction. And then, to represent this in general form, transpose mo lang yung negative 11 sa kabila. It will become x minus 3y plus 11 is equal to 0. This is the standard form. Oh, sorry. The general form of the equation. Finding the equation of the line through negative 2, 3 and 1, 4. So, I hope na natutukay sa ating video. Maraming salamat.